let's find out how good the bird recognition algorithm is on the EM1X. It was introduced in the latest firmware that was just announced and it will be available on December 3rd, 2020. Let's find out how good it is. Hi there, my name is Peter Forsgaard and I am an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And let's get right into the business. I came to the Helsinki Zoo called Korkeasaari to find out how it works on wildlife. But before we test that, I will enjoy the view of Helsinki on this, uh, I don't know, this high place here in Korkeasaari. I did test the bird AF couple of days ago and as I said I'm at the zoo now because that's the only place I can find wildlife I was uh, asked in the videos that I made about the new firmware that how is it with wildlife and uh, I will test it here at the zoo today but before we get into the testing let's look how you turn it on first you turn on the subject tracking birds then you choose all the uh, focusing points that you can have on your EM1X and then you will have the AF uh, continuous AF plus tracking and then the camera will find the bird and what's important the head of the bird and the eye and when the setup is complete I advise you to store it to one of the custom settings so that you can access it from the mode dial with these C1 to C4 custom settings that's really easy if you do a lot of bird photography it's a fast access to that feature and as I said earlier already that I tested it with birds and flying birds and for a novice like this I got a 93% accuracy on flying birds that they were attacked sharp. That's pretty good result for a guy who usually never shoots any birds. The hardest part was finding the bird but it was actually a good thing that I didn't find them all in the air or could not follow them with my camera because then I could actually uh, see how it is when the bird is right on the edge of the frame and as you can see from these images that uh, it wasn't easy but the camera did it it kept the bird sharp even if it was in the corner so it was me not the camera that failed this time or actually on these images they were all really sharp but of course I missed the bird in the frame and the images are no good and we have to remember one thing getting this camera with this firmware and a long telephoto lens does not make you a bird photographer it makes you a owner of a great camera but practice and knowing the species knowing how the birds behave will make you better but i have to say that getting good gear will help you it will make the learning curve a lot um, lower and it's not that steep i think that's the right way to say it but back to the images these three images really astonish me. Not the, one, the first one and the last one, but look at the middle. The bird went behind the mast of a sailing boat. And look, the tip of the wings are tacked sharp. So it was able to follow and predict where the bird was going. And I think that is astonishing. This image having these uh, wing tips totally sharp would not be possible, at least for me, with any other gear. So I was really astonished on these ones. So, uh, as I said, 93% images were sharp. The ones that went sharp was usually the first one. It took a slight uh, time to, to get the, uh, or find the bird. There was a frax of a second, so the first image usually wasn't sharp. And then if there was a really, really uh, uh, busy background or a lot of stuff between the camera and the, the bird, then it might miss the, uh, the shot. But it immediately after the uh, things in the front cleared up it found the bird and it was good to go again so it's not perfect but pretty close i also tested the bird af with mc14 the lens that i used was 40 to 150 millimeter f 2.8 pro lens and of course the body was the m1x and it was good very good with the mc14 but there was a slight uh, dig the crease in in sharp images it wasn't much in and this image is taken with that and what's really interesting about this one too is that i used pro capture without the combination of bird af and bird capture i would never gotten this shot and here is the whole series of this crowd as you see it wasn't the camera it was me that lost the bird what's really great about photography is uh, i've been doing it for 40 years 
and 30 years almost professional, oh, yeah, 30 years, over 30 years as a professional photographer. And I still get excited when I get an image like this. That's the best part of photography. You, you, you still, after many, many decades, you get one image that you're really happy with and get really excited. And I hope I never lose that. And don't you lose that either. Get excited when you get a good image, even if the image is not uh, the award-winning bird photography image or whatever. If you feel that you nailed a shot, be proud of it and be happy. That's good. Before we continue with the bird AF subject tracking topic of this video, a fun fact from Helsinki. The place that I'm right now is Korkeasaari Zoo. It's founded in 1889 and it's an island in front of Helsinki, as you can see from the, from the surroundings that I'm at. And uh, I know zoos are a bit uh, controversial, you know, it's not nice to see animals in cages, but they also do some good stuff. Uh, for example, uh, Korkasari is known for its work for uh, uh, snow leopards, and they've uh, done that since six, 1962. And they've, uh, you know, raised them here and then they shipped them back to the nature, to wildlife. So they are really doing some good job also. But I, I, I in a way, agree that zoos are not nice. But if, if, you know, they take good care of them, then it might be okay. And there's also a wild, wild animal hospital on this island. And, and the restaurant they have on the island is very old. It's from 1884 and it's called Restaurant Pukki. But no, it has nothing to do with Teemu Pukki. If you follow football and slash soccer, you know who he is. This one is pretty old from 1884, but it's closed now because it's not the high season of people visiting the zoo. And I remember this place when I was a kid. Every time school ended, the first summer vacation day, we used to come here for a picnic on this island and watch the animals and enjoy the summer. Because when I was a kid, every summer was warm and sun was shining all the time. But that was a fun fact from Helsinki this time. And before we look at those images that I took the other day from uh, Kauppatori Helsinki, the bird flying photographs, let's see if this works on animal photography, wildlife, because this is the only place I can find wildlife around Helsinki. Oh, there's a woodpecker. Oh, blow away. Yeah, that was always happening. This is when you're not experienced. You start setting up the cameras and the birds fly away. That would have been wildlife. Or not really. But anyways, I missed it. Well, there is some European bisons. Let's see how it works. Well, now it does when it, there's a good amount of sun and a good amount of light. going towards me. Oh, look at that, some reindeer. I wonder, are they called Rudolph? Oh, oh. Sorry, I get me coat. It can find the eye if, if the animal is looking straight at the camera when the eyes are in the front. If the eyes are on the side, like many animals have, it has to be like this to be able to find the eye. If the eye, if the animal is looking straight at the camera and the eyes are on the side, it can't find it. It will uh, focus on the nose. So it's not as good as with birds, but it works. If, if the animals are not really fast moving animals, then it might work. If you see some deer or some bears or, or uh, buffaloes or something like that, then, you know, it can work, but it's not as good as with birds. Unfortunately, I think that's something they should add to the firmware. Maybe it's on the making, I don't know. Let's hope that OM Digital Solutions will improve on that. And now the images that I shot a couple of days at Kauppatori. Birds in flight and some other birds. Hope you enjoy the images.
the best thing about the bird AF is that it tries to find the head of the bird and concentrate on the eye. The way it works, it first finds the whole body and then it quickly changes the AF to the eye or the head of the bird. And it works really well. And usually if you have a bird sitting like this, it will, the normal AF will find the closest point, which is usually the tail feathers. And you don't want that in most cases. You want the, uh, the, the sharpness to be in the eye, in the head of the bird. And when the bird turns its head, immediately it will focus on that. And here is an example of that. This is a clip that was sent to me from Olympus. And uh, here you can see how well it works. Okay, and this clip is sent, uh, was sent to me by Henry Kuakka, who works for Olympus Finland. And he was trying the, the algorithm the other day. And, and, and he recorded some of the, uh, or the way the AF works on this bird. But as you can see, it works really well. It makes it so much easier to uh, photograph birds. And then the conclusion. But before I conclude this video, there's one thing I want to mention about the new uh, firmware that was introduced to EM1X. The EM1X is uh, targeted to outdoor photographers, wildlife photographers, adventurers, because of the weather sealed body is, is really top notch. You can actually put it underwater. Not recommended, but it has been tested, so you don't have to. And one thing that I was really a bit disappointed that the Starry AF did not make it to this firmware upgrade. Because as I said, it's for outdoor photographers, nature photographers. Starry AF would have been really something that this camera could have had. And also the uh, eye, eye recognition of humans from EM1 Mark III could have been on this camera too. Because I think EM1X should be the camera that has everything that Olympus can offer. Every feature that there is in the world in Olympus cameras should be in this camera. And then there might be some other cameras that are a bit less features with the list, a bit less money. I think that would be a wise thing. So I hope they can do that when, when the uh, manufacturing transfer goes to OM Digital Solutions. Let's hope that. But let's uh, conclude the bird AF. As you saw from the images and as you've probably seen from other, other YouTubers and other Olympus photographers has said that it works marvelously. It is magnificent. It works really, really well and it makes it so much easier to photograph birds. So if you are into bird photography, this is something that you want to consider. I really, really think so. And here is a video about uh, the uh, 450 to 400 millimeter f4.5 pro zoom lens and here is a video about the new firmware but hey thanks for watching and bye for now